Hello, my name is Donovan Alvarado, and my project is on matrix-assisted laser desorption, ionization, time of flight, mass spectrometry, also known as MALDI-TOF MS. MALDI, the basic technique involves a sample plate which holds a combination of your matrix and analyte molecules. A laser is shined across or bladed across the surface of your sample. Your sample, your analyte and matrix molecules are often referred to as as a co-crystalline solution. Laser exposure to your co-crystalline formation results in vibrational excitation of your matrix molecules. This then corresponds with a vibrational relaxation involving a release of energy, which then excites and ionizes your sample molecules. This is indicated right here by the transfer of charge. The end result is both charged analyte and matrix molecules. Here's a schematic diagram. The sample probe is ablated with a laser which generates sample, sample analyte ions, which are then driven by a voltage potential into the drift region and eventually detected by a detector. This detector is a time of flight detector which then measures the time of flight that it takes to go across the drift region. This is very important because the laser phenomenon of desorption does not fragment your molecule. This allows for analysis of large biomolecules such as proteins, oligonucleotides, peptides, carbohydrates, lipids, dendrimers, fullerenes, oligosaccharides, synthetic polymers, and inorganic metal compounds. Something of interest that I did not write about in the written portion of my project is MALDI Imaging Mass Spectroscopy, which is the direct analysis of di tissue samples that are sliced adequately thin and moved two-dimensionally. The end result is an image that shows the direct location of an analyte. That is indicated by these black boxes with the blue images. It is to note that these high mass-to-charge ratios are most likely peptides or proteins within this tissue sample. And since you can specify a very specific mass-to-charge ratio, you can find out where very specific peptides, proteins, or other compounds are found within a tissue. The actual paper of interest that I wrote about in my paper for this presentation was analysis of Chinese medicine herbs using a new matrix, graphene and graphene oxides. The three components of these traditional Chinese herbs that were measured were wolfenin, ferulic acid, and scutellarin, from top left to bottom right. Here, these Chinese researchers compared typical moldy matrices, CHCA, and DHB. CHCA is alpha cyano 4 hydroxy cinnamic acid. DHB is dihydroxy benzoic acid. They compared these to graphene and graphene oxides, which were matrix C's used for the very first time in literature. Here we note with typical matrices, we have very poor resolution and very high spectral interference because of these mo low molecular weight compounds. However, with graphene and graphene oxides, because of their high thermal conductivity and their uh, excellent electronic transport capabilities, they're able to high, uh, yield no spectral interference at all and very great resolution. Here with this higher molecular weight compound, we note contamination and fragmentation and in almost all of these, we know lots of spectral interference. In addition, in CHCA in negative mode, we have very poor peak sizes. Here's my bibliography. Uh, thank you for listening. I hope everyone had a very great Thanksgiving break. I appreciate your time, and I hope you learned something. Thank you very much.